what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video uh, i am the first person on america server to reach level 45. um i i did it back at reset time and now we're almost midway to 46. so if you guys didn't know uh, you're level 45 and i may understand because honestly it's a long way to get there so it's not really memorable but after you get you level 35 and you get 15 summons and four solvents then the next point is you level 45 you level 45 is when you will receive this five star weapon supply chest so in today's video i'm going to go over your options on what to pick and just depending on where you're at in the game at this point in time i feel like by the time you guys are at level 45 a lot of your tower should be done so your teams are kind of fleshed out and if anything you guys are probably just going to be stuck on not being able to do the middle zone which is the hazard zone with the level 100 um the eight boss so uh basically let's uh see what we have here in the box here so we have Lustrous Razor, Emerald of Genesis, Static Mist, Abyss Surges, and Cosmic Ripples. So Lustrous Razor. So Lustrous Razor is a weapon that is not going to be used very often in a sense. And what I mean by that, it's not really a lot of usage for this weapon besides Calcharo. If you do not have Gion's weapon, though, this is an absolute must to get because you're already trolling. If you don't have Gion's weapon, Gion's weapon is so strong on him. He doesn't have his weapon. He loses about 22% of his damage anyways. So this is something that is definitely a must. And uh, just to give you guys a little hint, the next character uses the same exact weapon type. So... If anything, you guys could use it on both of the, the characters. So it's still a good pick at the end of the day. I check on Pride Win actually. Luscious Razor is still the second best weapon for him. And it Luscious Razor is the best weapon for Calcharo. So if you guys are using those both of those characters, then it's definitely a good pick, especially with the next 1.1 character also using a broad blade. And then we also have Emerald of Genesis. So Emerald of Genesis, this one is honestly really iffy. And the reason why it's really iffy is if you're at the, it, it's, it's iffy if you're at the point in the game where you are prioritizing Dungeon or Havoc MC. If you are not in that stage of the game and let's say Tower, you have Team 1. Gion, Team 2, Kelcharo. You don't really need Emerald of Genesis. Like, if you don't have Lustrous Razor, or if you don't have, like, a 5-star weapon at all, and you have those two teams, probably just pick Lustrous Razor. Uh, Emerald of Genesis, this weapon really just for dungeon havoc mc and it's mostly if you just need a team for tower because honestly speaking if you have a team with a dungeon now if you have a geon team and a calcharo team you don't really need a third team unless you're trying to do the middle tower of hazard which i know a lot of free to play players won't be able to do that for a while so this one's kind of up to you it's in the air it's still a really really good pick it's a crit rate sword we're not going to have many of them so the crit rate is a really really strong value at the end of the day but it does depend on what you have on your account and what teams you're building if you're not building any if you're not building dungeon or havoc mc then this is not even worth it to be honest so going next one which is probably what I'm going to pick personally. We have Static Mist. So, Static Mist is really, really good, to be honest. It's actually the strongest weapon for Mort. Um, his strongest weapon doesn't have this weapon. He loses 20% of damage compared to other four-star weapons. Um, 
obviously increases energy regen have his ults up more but when he outros into Gion, not only will Gion get the moonlit buff with 22.5 percent attack but he will also get this 10 percent attack buff which all lasts for 14 seconds so it's all a, a really similar duration of time so Gion's getting an extra attack buff on top of mort being able to get more crit and more er to have the ults up more really really solid it, it can't really go wrong with static mist if you're running a Gion team that's absolute must like that's just me being honest and then we have abyss surges so abyss surges the issue with abyss surges is again it's about the usage if i really check here let's see who uses gauntlets so we have jian shin ling yang and Nambu. all right if you are a ling yang main right and there's very few of you then this is a must okay if you're a ling yang main then this is a must okay it's a 20 percent damage increase compared to the four the four cost weapons it's absolute must and if i check jian shin if you're playing Jian Shin DPS, it's also a must as well. And then if you are playing Wang Wu for whatever reason with Yin Lin, there's not even any builds for him, <laughs> but obviously it'd probably be his best in slot. And then we have Cosmic Ripple. So if you are a Encore main, so before we get Encore, if you are playing Yin Lin, you should not be getting this. You should be getting Yinlin's weapon. Yinlin, com Yinlin compared to Cosmic Ripples is is worse than Gion actually. Um, it's a thirty percent damage difference from China, so that's wild to be honest. So yeah, Yinlin absolutely should have String Master on her. It's a very cost efficient um, character, but if you're playing Encore. This is an absolute win to have at the end of the day. So all in all, when you guys get to this point in the game, a five star weapon supply chest really depends on where you're at in the game and what you want to do in the game. So really evaluate. OK, this team can three star this in tower. So do I really need the weapon for them? Oh, this team can't really clear as good in tower. They need a damage boost. Okay, get the weapon for that team. Because at the end of the day, really, you're only really trying to get stronger for a tower. There's nothing in the game that you actually have to get stronger for. Yes, holograms are there, cool. But tower is the main thing because tower actually is a reset, right? So you want to be able to clear it to get the asteroids and other rewards. So the best way to evaluate, even though I'm giving you guys options, it's also to evaluate your teams and what you're currently doing on your account. Me personally, I can clear both sides, but I struggle in the middle. So for me, it doesn't really matter because middle portion of tower adversity is very whale bait right it's it's not meant to be cleared by easy means right it's a lot of damage that you need and it's a lot of mostly just whales cleared the middle i'm not going to clear it with any stars in the middle so there's no reason for me to go out of my way for extra power i could just get whatever i want so for me i'm picking static mist uh, static mist for Mort just to boost my Gion team overall. That's just amazing. The Gion team isn't going anywhere. I'll tell you guys that right now. Even with the next character coming out, you'll just have to build a Spectro team. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I am again immune level 45. Um, so I will be Yun level 50. We keep going at this rate. I want to say next week I'll be Yun level 50. And then I'll make another video for you guys. Basically going over. Um, you know what's new at Yun level 50. How the phases feel like. The drops. Tacit fields. 
things like that but thank you guys so much for watching this video again if you are new leave a like on the video subscribe if you guys haven't yet join discord link in the description down below and i do stream this game every single day so you guys can always stop by on stream ask questions things like that but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace